All right, hello everybody. Welcome back to a, another first impressions. Uh, this wouldn't be a review. This is a look before the game launches. It's a game called Catizens, and uh, they do have a free demo available. If you are looking at maybe trying this game yourself, you can download the uh, Catizens demo right from the Steam page. However, the developer has offered me. Uh, a streamer, a full copy of the game. So we're going to go ahead and take a look at this game right now as it is at this point in time. Keep in mind that a lot of things are probably going to change. It's probably going to have some bugs and problems that won't be there when the game launches. I don't know any information about how much this game is going to cost or when the game will come out, but it is inspired by RimWorld and The Sims. Catizens is a colony management simulation where you watch over unique cats with quirky personalities as you help them build and grow their settlement while exploring new lands, facing off, uh, uh, facing off against wildlife, and overcoming the challenges of each environment. Looks and sounds pretty damn cool. If I had to guess, I would guess this game would be 20 bucks, maybe 25 when it comes out, and like I said, I don't know though. And I don't know when it's coming to Steam either. All right, so let's go ahead and um, add your wishes on Steam right there. More contents on the way, still in alpha. Um, help us make the game better with a feedback form or right here on the welcome screen. Cool, cool. Go and take a look at the options here. Beautiful audio. Let's turn that music down just a tad. Okay. And why are we not getting sound? Give me a second here. You guys are not hearing any sound here. There we go. Oops. There we go. Much better. Okay. Apply? There we go. So it doesn't work until you hit apply. Let's go with that. All right, we got auto save on. Device information. Here's my specs here, guys. You guys want to see what my computer specs are? All right, let's go ahead and go new game. Um, a difficult mode, easy mode. Let's just go normal. A customize your cats. How cute. Do we have a randomized feature? We do. Randomize a visual. I like to do this and use it. Okay. Hmm. Pattern, base color. Board of her mouse. All right, let's randomize her. Yeah, I like that. Amoth and Leandra. That's fine. So you can make her brave, loyal, or a tree cat. Likes to sleep in beds on upper floors. Gets a mood bonus for the right height of bed, but gets a mood hit if sleeps too close to the ground. Brave, never runs away from combat. Let's make her brave. Oh, we have a lot of different traits we can select. Yeah, I like brave for her. And then for him, yeah, we'll make him friendly. Dirty? No. He is a catnip lover. There we go. And, um... Okay. So you could take away something here and you could get put it somewhere else if you wanted to. Let's just go with that. 
see what see what the game's about. I don't know a lot about this game. Camera controls rotate. Use Q and E. You can also use right mouse button, by the way. Use F and R or the mouse wheel. Q in and out. W A S T. A. Or you can click and drag. All right, Leandra and Thomas. Controlling a character, selecting. Left click on the character to select it. You get all the information. Move him here. Right click to move him. Cool. Uh oh. Have a boar. Select the knight, which would be Leander here, and right click the enemy to attack. <laughs> Awesome. I like it. And if we want to watch it, we can zoom in. Hell yeah. We killed it, and we got some meat. Right click together, not left click. Okay. Oh, she's actually going to automatically put it in a box. That's cool. And her health is down a little bit, it looks like. Who's this? Jade. How you doing, Jade? Um, harvesting resources, villagers. Villagers uh, harvest basic resources. Select a villager. Okay. Right-click on the tree to harvest the tree. Gathering wood. Keep uh, chopping down trees to gather tin wood. Villagers can also harvest uh, catnip for food or mine rocks for stone and gold. Very cool. And it looks like uh, Thomas and Leandra are making out. Just saying. No. Okay. Welcome to the stream, everybody. Or welcome to the video, if you're watching this on my YouTube channel. Okay, so we have five wood up here. But she hasn't put any away yet. Oh yeah, we're getting the wood as she cuts it. Okay. They are having a talk. You can speed the game up as well. That's cool. And then, uh, Thomas is over here gathering the wood. Nice! And putting it in the box in the inventory. Okay. Click on the build menu to construct buildings. Okay. So, right here. And we can build a simple or two-story cottage. Let's build a simple cottage. Oh, wow, it's pretty big. Okay, we can rotate with the arrow keys or right click. Go right. Go right here. Point. Constructing architects will automatically try to construct place buildings, build different structures to increase the population cap and popularity of your own town. And we have uh, Thomas over here building. So this reminds me a lot of you know of a lot of city builders like this. Um, however, this game is I gotta say right off the bat, this game is freaking adorable. Just saying. So Leander is over here helping as well, uh, managing citizens, new applicants. New applicants want to join your town. Click on the town applicants. You have to approve them, huh? You must meet housing and food requirements to accept a new villager. You can pay gold to view the villager's traits. Okay. Pick headed. Okay, let's go ahead and invite both these guys. Oh, you can only invite one at a time. Can we come here? Oh yeah, let's invite both of them. View a list of your citizens here. Okay. Here they come! How cool! And basically he's saying that he needs money, I guess. Okay. You can use it to quickly uh, select a specific cat. So here we can kind of see how much money they have. On off decoration. Enter the forest. Is a goal. Find the entrance to the forest outside of town. The goals panel shows a list of things to complete. 
Um, finding the exit. One of the goals uh, of every level will be to find an entrance to the next location. Whiskers is destroying the town. This is very cool. Okay. So... Enter the forest, okay, Thomas, and can I select both of them? Can I draw a box? Yeah, I can select both of them by drawing a box. Okay. So let's go find the, um, going to right click to have him go there. I assume this is a forest here since it's a, um, like a highlighted area. I say this game is pretty fucking cool for being an alpha. I like it already. Objective complete. Oh, because we're already in the forest. You ready to start your town? Sure. Do it. Okay. You patch the trees right outside the town, the perfect place to start a new camp. <clears throat> All right. Awesome. Build a market, clear all enemies, reach two stars, town popularity, find the edge of the forest. That's our goals. Okay, and storage. We have all this stuff. Yeah. Select the character to view, to view the action. Get food from storage, eat specific food. Um, <clears throat> okay, here's his hit points, here's his, uh, experience. I think we're good. Okay, so let's go ahead and build. And we need to build a market. We already have, what is this? Actually, what is this? That's a cottage. So we have a cottage already. We just need to build a market. Um, requires architect at level one. Hmm. Let's build another cottage then. Maybe that'll help us there. Boink. Okay, why is the game paused? Why is the game paused? How do I unpause? Um, there we go. Way to clear out of the menu. The build menu. I was like, I didn't pause the game. I like how you can change the angle. As well as the, uh, you know, the up and down angle, as well as the angle. Yeah. I also like the way you can see who's where, so you can see that she's clearly in the house. And you can probably even click on her. Okay. So that's built. Now if we go to the build menu, still can't make a market. Requires an architect of level 1. Okay. Where are you going, woman? Let's go explore. And while you're exploring, I'm going to have this guy harvest some wood. Okay, let's go back to her. Um, go. Hey, Swinky, how you doing? See you, hon. Oh, we got an enemy. Take care of him. Andra has entered combat. Uh oh, another one. They're both picking on me. Uh oh, this might go bad. This could go very badly. Uh 
Oh. Leandra is brave. Remember, we gave her the brave treat. She's good. We will right click on the gather food. Noise. I guess she can only carry three steaks at a time. She's going to go put those in the storage box. Very cool. This guy is doing what he is told. He is gathering wood, I think. Right? Oh no, he's getting, he's helping her get the, the rest of the meat. Okay. We have somebody that wants to join. Um. Loner. Sourpuss. Okay, Milo can come in. Milo has joined the town. Milo, where are you at? There's a Milo. So, my girl is uh, asleep. Leandra is tired. I guess. Her mood's good. So you gotta keep all their moods up. Oh, I like I like how they talk and socialize. Kind of like the Sims. They build a relationship with each other. Right click for available actions. Relationship acquaintance. Relationship good friend. Very cool. They are going indoors now. Uh oh. Uh oh. What are they doing indoors? Good thing we can see their avatars, right? We can see that they're not doing anything spicy in there. <laughs> All right. So it is 8, 10 p.m. It is be it is getting night. And. OK, she's up for the night. She's going to go inside and say, what are you two doing alone in here? Oh, she can't go inside. I wonder why. Like, what the fuck? What are you guys doing in there? Oh, no, they're talking. I'm sorry. They're communicating through a wall. My bad. We got a campfire that's already built. Right click for available action. Sit near fire. Oh, they're all coming out. Just sit here by the fire. How adorable is this? I tell you what, this game may be months away from launching on Steam, but I am absolutely in love with this game already. Yeah, this is very cool. So he is helping himself to... What are you doing, man? They're talking again. What are you getting at? Okay, what is this? Oh, she's getting some bread. It gives her strength and increases her mood. She slept on the ground. There's bugs and stuff down there. Uh, tree cats hate sleeping low to the ground. Okay, mood plus two. And then if we click on Milo here... Her mood is minus one, kind of wet. Ooh. Alright. So she's wet, and they went again inside a private uh, home. They didn't go in this one because she was in there. Yeah, I think these guys are getting along a little bit too well. <laughs> I'm just kidding, guys. Aw, oh, she's sleeping on the ground. She's fucking tired, man. Alright. It is like one o'clock in the morning. How are we doing, Thomas? He is mad because can sometimes happen after grooming himself. Cough, gag, hairball. He got a hairball. Minus one. Oh, this is Leandra. Oh, the, the new person is over here sleeping on the ground. Gotcha. And then... Um, Leandra's all in a good mood and everything. Okay. So we still got to clear all enemies. We got to build a market. And reach two stars of town popularity, which we are not anywhere close to that. Attack here, go to the area target, defend location, take a break, tell the citizen to stop doing work for the next two hours, repeated requests will be extend the time. Okay. So Leandra, so you can't click on them because they're in a house or whatever, you can just click on their name over here. Right? So let's go over this way and see what we got over here. Here she comes. Because we got to clear out all the enemies. Our little area here. And find the edge of the forest. We got to do that too. So you have to kind of explore here because there is a. Uh... Okay, so these plants are the border then? Maybe? Okay, let's go this way then. 
I'm learning, guys. Figuring this out. I gotta say, I love this game. I really do. This is really cool, especially for being an early alpha. Now, this is already better than a lot of games at launch. <laughs> So her, experience, her experience is going up as she fights the stuff. Together. What are you doing? Well, these guys are coming to help her gather this stuff. That's cool. Two people together, one piece of meat. Poor Milo is like, what the fuck? Mm-mm. Yeah, this game is fucking adorable. Very, very cute. Our hit points is forty out of fifty. Okay, let's take let's take uh Thomas here. Let's have him right click in the chest. We need to cook some fucking meat, right? Get food from storage. Because don't we gotta cook this raw meat? He's hungry, yeah. Hmm. We can right click to set near the campfire, but how do we cook food? Brought from wild animals and brought bought at the market. Okay. And again, we can't build. We can't build our market yet. We got to have an architect to level one. Hmm. Taking a break. Okay, we need Leandra again. She's our fighter. Um, we zoom out. Oh. So, Abbott here probably wants the catnip. No. No actions available, huh? How about Milo? Can she collect it? She can, she can select it. Right click it. Okay. You can only do one thing at a time, it looks like. Hey, Leander, what are you doing? New town applicants have arrived. Go over here, Leandra. Where are you going, woman? I told you to go over here, Andra. Okay. Rosa wants to come in. Okay. Uh oh, more enemies. Oh my god. He's getting beat up pretty good. No, Leandra, don't die. That would be bad. He's almost got enough experience to level up. Hey, you wanna... You wanna, um... Gather the meat. Up, oh. Rose, the new person, is over here getting meat. What a good citizen. Okay. So it looks like you don't have to cook the meat or anything. Okay, what are you doing? He is, uh... 
harvesting catnip, so. Okay? See how that works. Well, that looks like she's harvesting it, alright. That is so cool. Alright, I like this game. I think this game is really neat looking. Okay, we still haven't cleared all the enemies. How is Leandra doing? Her health is going back up. Nice. Okay, Leandra, you have... What is your problem? Thomas, Thomas, get the food. Go ahead and eat it, man. He is taking a bath, it looks like. Okay. Leandra, we need you to kill all the enemies. Leandra, no, no, I, I wanted... Yeah, leave that food alone. You got a wild boar to attack. She's upset because she's getting wet. Yeah, yep. So you can click that to solve it. Two people are going out to get that meat. Oh, because she's wet. If I, I clicked on it, so she's going to get dry by the fire. To solve her being wet. That's cool. I love the art here too. Love, love, love the art. Up on the ground. <laughs> Love it. So I like how they help themselves to food and they take care of themselves if you're not, you know, you don't have to micromanage the living hell out of them. That is really cool. Okay, so... Can we click over... Yeah. So we need to explore this foggy area and make sure that there's no more enemies over here anywhere. It looks like this. these patches of grass are the border. Over this way. Ooh, what is this? A gold mine. So see, we found a gold mine by exploring. Not every character can do everything, though. Now we found a place to fish. How cool. The exploring in this game is really neat. Yep, see there's some enemies. He's getting really tired. Whoop there, butt, Leandra. She's going to be leveling up here in a second. But she does not, looks like she doesn't. Leandra can now level up. Yep. But she doesn't gain all her hit points back when she levels up. Okay, what is this? Objective complete. Find the edge of the forest. 
Okay. Um. Oh, we we did the found the edge of the forest. We still haven't got two stars. Um, and we still haven't cleared all the enemies. Okay, so we clicked that to solve it, the band-aid. Back that she's hurt. She's gonna go get something out of the chest, I guess. Or no, she's gonna go rest, okay. And we still can't build a market. Um, wide path that makes it easier to walk. Hmm. There we go, we just sort of got a road here. So he's going to go build this a road. Alright. What the fuck happened to our... What happened to our walls? Did I click something accidentally? Yeah, my fucking walls disappeared. Echo wants to come in. Cool, cool. Um, hi Echo, how are you? And we got all kinds of people living here now. Okay, so I think somewhere I clicked on something that made the wall see through. He's not in a good mood. He's very unhappy. Rose is unhappy. Not doing too well. Performing jobs 20% slower. She's not happy because she's crowded. Okay, so we need to build some more houses. Okay. But I don't have... I don't think I have the right stuff to make of this one. Right? I don't have enough... Uh, because if I click on build... It takes 10 wood. And we only have 10 wood. This one takes... And wood and five stone. We don't have any stone. So basically, I need to click on Thomas here. And I need to have him go and mine some fucking rock. Like right here. No actions available. Milo, can you harvest rock? You can. Right click to mine. She's not in good mood, but she's going to go get us some rock so we can build a two story house. So that we're not so crowded. Love it. Okay, resume. Yep, 
Yeah, I don't know how our walls disappeared from our houses, but... Probably something I accidentally clicked on. They're going to get the metal. The gold bars and stuff. I need stone. Oh, there it is. It's all stone here. Everybody's coming to gather all the materials. That's cool. This is definitely a game to keep your eyes out for, guys. I don't know when this game's launching, but I think I, I think I really like it. I think I'm definitely going to support this game for sure. I love the fact that they're using like cats. Uh, I love the uh, the cuteness of the game, and I also like good city builder games as well. So I do like the art style. I like the fact they're doing cats. I like how they have different moods. I like how the fact that. You don't have to micromanage the hell out of every character. And they all go they're all willing to go help and bring, you know, food back or ore and gold back after someone mines or whatever. Uh just very, very very well done. Especially for a early alpha. We have five of five people here. The number of cats you can have versus housing. Different houses provide different amounts of housing. Build houses using the architect. Okay, so now that we have enough stuff, we can take Thomas here. And we can have him build a better house or another big house. We right click. Yeah, we can't build there for some reason. Probably because it's on the trail. Yeah, it's on the trail. All right, let's put it right there. All right. And then we just got to get out of the build menu. He'll actually build it. Okay, uh, Milo, I'm going to have you harvest some wood. It's like, damn it, I was uh, watching the fire. I was enjoying life, and now you're going to make me work. Feels bad. Thomas is going to build the additional house. Yeah, what does it take for him to become an architect so we can build this market? He just has to level up, right? Yeah, he needs more experience, so maybe after he builds this house, or while he's building this house, he'll level up. We still haven't cleared all the enemies, either. So she just keeps hacking at trees until we tell her to quit. Looks like. Yeah, he's about to level up, then maybe he can build our market. And then we'll have another thing done. Thomas can now level up, so we click this to make him level up. Ready level up, click the green bouncing arrow next to this. Yep. Oh, we gotta click that one. There we go. So now he's an architect. Excellent. So we never leveled up. Oh yeah, we did. We leveled her up. Okay. So now we should have enough materials to go ahead and build that market we need. But we don't have enough materials. We need 15 wood. We don't have that yet. Okay. So we're going to take Leander here. We're going to go ahead and continue to come out here and see if there's anything else to fight. Are there any more boars anywhere? Hmm. Can't go over there because... This is a border. Green plants there is a border. So what are we missing here? It needs to come over here, I think. Um, let's just have her come here. Looks like you can go fishing as well. School of fish, no access available. Try selecting a different character. Okay, Echo, can you fish? No. Rose, can you fish? No. Milo, can you fish? No. Thomas, can you fish? No. So nobody can fucking fish. Okay. Andrew, I need you to come here. 
can see if there's any fucking... Yep, there's a board. There's an enemy right there. Probably why we didn't have clear all the enemies done. We have our 15 wood now. Go ahead and have her attack these enemies, or these, uh, boars. Oh no! I selected the wrong character! Oh no! Leandra, I need you to come take care of these boars. Uh, I had the wrong character selected. Feels bad. Poor Rose is all fucking... Yeah, she lost half her health. Alright. Gotta be careful, guys. Yeah, Leandra can handle them, no problem. Look at our warrior go. Yeah, I fucking love this game, I really do. I think this game I think this game's gonna sell pretty well. There we go, that was the last two enemies we needed. Okay. Hey, um Leandra, you can gather this meat, you know. I mean I know you just did all the work and fought them, but just saying there, girl, you can gather some meat. Okay, so let's go ahead and select Thomas. Let's have him build the market, which we should have. Oh my god, this is huge. Okay. Um, let's put the market over. Whoa. Can't see. Boom. Then you got to close it out. Actually build. Thomas, why are you not working, man? I told you what to do. You going down to build now? Yep. Remember that Leandra here likes to sleep upstairs. That's one of her treats or whatever. Uh, she's a loner tree cat. Likes to sleep in beds on upper floors, and that's why she's up there. And our market is coming alive. New applications have arrived. Uh, Peanut and Luke want to join. Welcome, Luke. Welcome. Whatever the other guy's name was. Peanut. Close out of the stuff. Look at that. Isn't that, isn't that cute? <clears throat> that is so cool. Alright. And we just gotta reach two stars of town popularity. So now we just gotta keep building buildings and stuff. That objective is complete for building a market. Now we just got to grow a little bit more. So we can go ahead and click the build market here. We can build a bathhouse if we want to, but no, we don't need to do that. We don't have enough stuff to build a two-story house here. We need 10 more wood. But we are bringing wood in. He's still gathering wood, it looks like. And then we have Leandra bringing that wood back. Okay, we should be able to build... Thomas, we need you to build... I'm sorry, Cottage here, so we can... Increase our... Town's popularity here, man. Oh, man, I, uh... Can we rotate this? Right now? We can demolish it, though, and then rebuild it. Right-click to rotate. We want the front door facing probably the market. Oops. There we go. Yeah, this game is so fucking cool. It really is. Thank you. 
So then you can monitor all your character's needs, but for the most part, it looks like they feed themselves okay as long as you get enough food or whatever. We need to find somebody that can fish. Um, maybe Peanut or, or Luke can fish. No actions available. How about Luke? Can you fish? No. None of our characters can fucking fish? Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, I really, really, really like the way this game is looking for, like I said, for early alpha. Um, very adorable. It looks like it's going to be a very well done city builder with fantastic graphics. Love the background music. Love what these guys are doing. Um, yeah, there's been a million city builders made over the years, but this one looks like it's a very good one. Um, and I look forward to seeing this one see the light of day on the scene. I think it's going to do really well. And now we've done, we've got our two sound, uh, two star town popularity. We can stay a while or we can go to the next level. Guys, with that, I think we're going to go ahead and drop out of this game. It took me a little bit longer than it probably will take, you know, after you've got familiar with the game, uh, to play this game. But I like the exploratory part of this game. I love how you can come down here to the gold mine. Um, love the fishing aspect of the game. Love how you explore your forts, uh, your forests and, uh, you know, you have all those clouds. Uh, keeping the discovery new so you can kind of go out and explore and it's probably going to be randomized every time you play. Uh, this looks like a fantastic and very adorable city builder, like I said, 20 times already. I like it, guys. You guys will have to let me know down in the comments below what you guys think of uh, a Catizens here. Uh, and I think it's going to be a fantastic little game. I expect this game to do well. Let me know what you guys think, though. Are you guys anticipating this after seeing this uh, video? Thanks so much for watching, everybody. Peace.